tell me about like how you got into the car culture and like and like have you evolved out of it or are you still down with like those cats? I've I've definitely evolved out of it, um, but in my twenties, um, my first uh, vehicle that I bought with my money um, was a, a Chevy Blazer, and it was an '84 Chevy Blazer. I bought it used. I put rims on it, and I had a, I had a close friend who I went to high school with, a high school teammate of mine, who was doing sound systems. And he built me a he built me a speaker box in the back of my Chevy Blazer, and it had I had two 15s and two 12s in it. It was super loud, and I drove around Brooklyn with this sound system shaking. You know, the rearview mirror would shake. You couldn't even see cars behind you. That's how bad the rearview mirror was shaking. But that you know. He was a car enthusiast. He was, you know, he, he, he tinted windows. He did sound systems. I was around a lot of that stuff. And then, and then I took a trip, my first trip to Cali, to LA. Um, and that was in, man, that was probably 91 or 92. It was, it was before my Slaughterhouse album. And I got to hang out in LA on the, on the um, I got to see the cruising that happened on Slauson Boulevard on Sundays. And then there was another yeah. cruising. There was another cruising thing that happened by the beach. Um, I know them both well. Yeah. And so one I was in Venice possibly. Yeah, Venice Beach, yep, Venice Beach. And it was my first time seeing California cars. I'd never seen Lowriders. I'd never seen Dayton's. All of that was like brand new to me. Um, and so when I got back home, I was like, wow, like there's a whole nother world out there of cars and styles of cars and, and, and ways to hook cars up. And I, 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 I was already subscribing to a bunch of different car mags because I was trying to come up with, you know, other things to do to my Chevy Blazer. So I, I subscribed to some, I started subscribing to Lowrider magazine, and a few other magazines. And man, my living room was piled up with these different car magazines, trucking magazine. I remember Lowrider trucking, there was like three others and, and, and they were all, you know, about chroming out cars, engines, just different customizations. And so I just became an enthusiast and I decided to, to write the song Cheap Ass Nigga, which was inspired partially by those experiences and partially by uh, LL Cool J's Booming System song, because I was actually with Marley in the studio when he mixed Booming System. And wow. It, uh, so those were the two influences.